All right, so I bought these Avantri HT280 wireless headphone system, which I'm gonna hook up to my Roku TV. Now, this one has the optical connector. Of course, I don't know if it's gonna show it on here. And that's what I needed. But the problem is I only have one input to optical and I've got it set up to a V-Box. So I had to purchase this additional um, splitter for optical. I'm gonna show it to you here in a second. And um, this right here should work. And uh, that's your in from your uh, system, right? Coming from the TV. And then this is going to be going out to this and to the V-Box. So that's what we're gonna do now. See if it works. All right, so if you're having problems, they've got a support uh, email and they also uh, have a phone number that you can call. So they have pretty good support. All right, so we unboxed it. You got your uh, power cord that switches it from 120 to 12 volt. That'll go over there. Then you've got your optical uh, hookup, which is what we're going to use. Then also it comes with your basic RCA, old analog inputs, and an RCA old analog to digital. And then it's got your straight digital plugs. And then if you've got a large plug, uh, you got this one that you can screw in there and hook it up. So that's everything. This is the tower here. And as you can see on the back, you've got your, uh, that's your power in, that's your on and off switch. There's your RCA and your coaxial, and there's your optical in, and there's your AT and TTV and AVR. And then there's your audio select op coax or um, RCA. So we're gonna do the op. So to do op, we gotta push up. We're gonna put it there. And um, I do believe that we may have to charge the batteries on this before we do it. So this one here is different. It doesn't have um, a battery that you have to insert like the Sony. The tower up here, these are the, uh, these are the, the um, electrical nodes that will hook right into there. And um, that's how it's gonna charge. And it looks like you can put it on either way. Just gonna make sure you get it on there right. So we're gonna plug this in first. We're gonna let it charge. And when it turns green, we'll be ready to go. So down here is where we're gonna plug it in. And this is our, uh, this is our power cord that we're gonna stick in there. It's a pretty simple thing. You just kind of slide it on there like that and push it on. Hard to do with one hand and, and uh, taper the other. And then of course I've got to unhook this little wire thing on there. And then we can go ahead and plug that in and let it charge. So I brought it over here to this plug. You're just gonna stick it right in there. And then let's see if we get any lights on this. All right, so when I click this little switch in the back, it goes to charge and it goes, and it shows a blinking light and then a red, and it says charge is green. So maybe these things are ready to go, which is kind of weird because if you look, I've got it on oh, power on, so I <laughs> had it on and off. So anyway, you gotta have that on power on. All right, once you do that, bam, you get those lights. Let me show you. So let's go ahead and turn the power off. All right, now power's off. Now if I come over here, all right, so it power's off. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna click this down, bam. And there they go. Charge and optical coaxial. All right, so it looks like we're good. I think we're good here. Anyway, this um, optical splitter comes with an AC hookup, but it doesn't come with a block, it just gives you a USB cord. So you gotta find your own block. So I've got this block, and we're gonna try it and make sure it works. So I've gotta plug the U USB into this. So anyway. All right, so here's my block. Here's my USB, white to white. Slide it in, bam. Now this has to go into the DC port here. So you just put that in there like that. And hopefully it has a light on it. Yeah, it's going to show us here. So we're going to plug it in and see if it works. So I'm going to unplug this one, set it down there for a second. Then we're going to take this one, which I put onto this block, stick it in there. You see, you've got a red light there. Now let's take a look and see. Oh, so we've got power here too. 
So that looks good. The out doesn't have anything yet because we haven't done that. <laughs> but um, so this is going to go from here to the TV. And then this is going to go from here to this. So anyway, you'll notice on these optical splitters, there's a curved area on the bottom, right? So if we look at our uh, our little deal here, it says this is the end point. So we've got to take that curved spot and we're going to put it low like that and just plug it in, bam, now it's in there. So now this is the end, this is going to come from the TV. So we got to hook this end to the TV. So I'm going to put that in there. All right, before I hook all this up, what I want to do is uh, make sure it works before I run everything through the back of the area there. So I've got an extra uh, power cord and it's on. And if you look over here, we're good there. So now I've got to take this and I've got to hook it into the back of the TV. So the back of the TV has the optical right there on the bottom. So I'm going to pull that optical out and I'm going to put this one in. But to do that, I need to get a table. So this is your optical. Right now I've got it plugged into a V-Box, but what I've got to do is I've got to put this one in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it over here, pull it through. Well, that's it. pulling the wrong side. <laughs> I'm going to pull this through. Because once I get this on there, I might want to keep it on there. So now look, you can see this has got a rounded edge. That's got to go to the back, see the round? So I've got to turn it and then push it in. Now I'm hoping you can see me put this in without... Bam, got it in. Now you can see we've got the optical and it's leading right to that one there. And now we can put these and we can splice them both into that box. And we're hoping that that's going to solve our problem here. So I'm going to slide the TV back, slide this cable out here where I can see it, and then we're going to plug that optical cable in. Here we are. We've got our, we've got one input in there, and this one here is the DC. So now we've got to put our other two in there. So we've got to put them in with the rounded part down. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so we gotta get this input rounded, rounded edge on the bottom. And that'll be our one. So we'll put that in there. And then we gotta get our other optical cable and uh, run it from. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one in right now. And then I'll show you, I'll plug it into the, uh, so we gotta find the, the the rounded part goes on the bottom. So this goes this way. All right, good. Now we've got those two in there on our splitter. Now we've got to take this and put it on the, uh, over here on the back of this. So as you can see, we've selected optical, and then you'll see there's the optical input. So what we've got to do is we've got to get the rounded edge of this, which is this side, we got to put it, all right, so rounded edge goes to the back. So I got to twist it, push it right in there, bam. All right, now we should be set. So now let's take a look. We've got the power on. We got our power here. We got our optical in. We turned it to optical. Over here, we've got our power going here. This is all set up. We got our power there. Now all we gotta do is see if the headphones work. <laughs> so I gotta turn the TV on. All right, here we go. So far so good. And I think we'll go to the satellite TV. All right, 
got a million remotes. <laughs> All right, so if you want to check the uh, volume by pressing the side. Okay, so we're listening to volume. That's good. Now we got to check the headphones. So let's grab these and we'll walk over here with them because we want to try them out a little bit of ways away from the TV. Right? All right, now I'm gonna mute this. So that's muted. Now I've got to come on here. I got to turn these on. So let's turn the light on here. If you look on the back of the headphone, you're gonna see a little power thing. So you gotta press that. Can you see that red light comes on? Now it's green, that means it's cool. Now over here you got plus and minus. So you can hear it, right? Wow, they work fantastic. And you know what's great about these? What's great about these? Is they fit over your ears. So good. Now, we can hear it here. And if I mute it, I can hear it there. So look. So you can listen to it on there. Mute it here. You can still hear it on your headphones. Work around. Bam, we figured it out. The controls are very simple on this. You got an on and off switch here. It's got a green light, means it's on. You got a plus and you got a minus. That brings the volume up, brings the volume down, and that's it. And you don't have to put any batteries or anything in there. You also have a headphone plug here that you can use. So I guess you could hook it up to your phone or some other you know, device and use the headphones that way if you wanted to. But these things work fantastic. What a great product. Highly recommend it, five stars. Praise out. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos. All right, so we've got them set up. Headphones are here. Our splitter is here. Everything looks good. You can see I could actually put two more optical splitters on there if I wanted to. I don't know how she's going to like these cords hanging out of there. we got our power here, extra power cord. Make sure it's in good. And that's it. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> that's how you hook those bad boys up. But make sure you keep your box just in case because you never know, it could break in two or three days and you need to send it back. But I think these are gonna work unbelievably well. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos.